All right, so I just got done finishing up the seat belt swap. This one doesn't want to go back in quite yet. Uh, old spring on that. But I ended up reusing the 1990 moldings. Um, Dremel out a little slot. <clears throat> Over here I have it open. You can see what I did was I took the casing off of it, the slider, the tan slider casing off of it. Got rid of the 89 molding and brought back the 90 molding that does not have the uh, slider in it. The slider piece on the 89's on the rear and it sits right there. That was bowing the whole piece, the bow out. So it just wasn't fitting, had to figure something else out. So what I did was put it at a little bit of an angle so that it slices by um, the molding right here so that it doesn't hit on the inside there. That's what I put. So that's why it's at a bit of an angle. But yeah, so I got that done today. I also removed my seats and took out the first carpet they sent me. Um, they didn't trim it there or there, so I called. And also these mounts right here on the new carpets, their mold, their factory molds are up here. They're even with that one. Let's go straight across, but I sent them pictures and hopefully they'll figure it out so the next person doesn't get screwed. They were nice and sent me a new one that had the trim pieces. They still left the heel pad on even though I asked them not to again. Whatever. It says right on the thing I can ask them not to. But yeah, so I'm getting ready to throw the new carpet in here. It's upstairs, I'm just gonna go cut it right down the middle right to about here. The e-brake hump is very prominent on that. so. We'll be able to fold it in quarters and bring it in here and just lay it down. So what I'm going to do now is just kind of clean up what I'm doing. And uh, once I get the carpet in, I'll show you what's up. All right, so what I did here was um, when I, I cut it right down the middle all the way back to this e-brake hump, which is, I don't know if you're going to see it because of the sun or whatever, but that's where the uh, linkage is right there. And then the tubes that go down are right here. So, yeah, um, I don't know if you can see it, but that is where the factory mount is. This is where the um, fake, the carpet one is. See what I mean? They match up here, but the actual mount is behind it. So I'm gonna have to just bend that in. It won't matter. I'll just put a little cut right there and nobody will ever even see it, except for me, because I'll know. But yeah, other than that, I just did a quick trim there. Quick trim right there. Uh, yeah. uh, did a couple down the back, in the back corner, over there <laughs> by, uh, by the gas pedal. And a couple of trim, quick trim on the left side, nothing on the right yet, but yeah, that's all I've trimmed. Other than that, you can see the tabs that I was kept referring to. But this comes nice factory mold. It don't gotta do a lot to it. It takes a while for it to settle in. Uh, last one took like even after like a year and a half, it's still just starting to get put in there. But there it is. Boom! Carpet is in. I also finished this side. I don't know if I said anything about redoing the roof, but I uh, threw some fabric on there. Let's see right here. Just. Uh, fabric and some adhesive spray it didn't stick too well see now that it's heated up it's not 40 degrees outside <laughs> but I, I, I like it it's cool you know it's dark in here you don't notice it unless you look for it but um, I did keep the blinds and handles color I just cleaned them up really good I have the tabs inside and put those on um, this side didn't come with one that I had to re-put the bracket, there's a metal bracket that goes over the railing. Uh, I had to reinstall that with a couple of 10 millimeters. But so, yeah, there we go, carpet's in. Now I just gotta do some seats. What I do with those is I find the hole, figure out where the hole is. I'll flip back and forth between looking at it. And then once I figure out where it is, I punch it through, you know, wherever it happens to be in there. Uh, this side, I know it's straight down. And then these ones, or in like that 
and like that and like that. So that's what I'll be doing. First things first, get the driver's seat in so if I have to quit for any reason then I can just, I can still go to work tomorrow. Boom. All right, so what I did was I just gave it a little cut back here, kind of trimmed it out, went very slowly. Um, just made cut by cut. Cut like quarter of an inch, take a look. Cut like quarter of an inch, take a look. Cut like quarter of an inch, take a look. But I got it all in and on. Um, this side, I got spray adhesive on this side for the uh, on the AC box here and then spray adhesive on the floor. Obviously I didn't spray adhesive the ECU area or anything down here because I still need to trim this and clip these little plastic clips that go on there. So I'll need to get that on. Um, but yeah, this guy is in. I added the door. I'm about to put this dude on. As you can see, um, it's pretty good. I can't wait to see it when it's got the um, all of the I don't know, just everything back in there. It's a little orange on my camera. I don't know, a little orange and a little red. It doesn't look like that in real life. But yeah. I'll throw this guy back on, plug that in, and I'm gonna get to maybe have some fun with some interior lighting and whatnot soon. But looking good. Let's get uh, some more trim in there, see what happens.